Hi everybody, Mark here at 911 Rap Response, and today I'm going to show you a 2021 Ford F-150 XL is the model line of it. This is we built for a local customer of ours, Mount Gretna Volunteer Fire Department. We appreciate their business and their service. We're going to start at the front of the vehicle here. The front of the vehicle we have a Weston vehicle vehicle specific push bar. Um, we use a lot of the Western Weston products because uh, they work really nice on the pickup trucks, number one. They give us a really nice mounting profile here. Uh, so this, we installed a uh, Custer product work light bar here in the front for some extra scene lights in the front. And then in the top rail, we can put four wheel and ions. And in this one specifically, we have duos, which is gonna give us both red and white flash out of each light. So you basically get double the light output um, of color on each light head. So we got a uh, nice front um, warning lights here on the push bar itself. There are some uh, rubber protectors on the front. They would uh, run up against something and it also gives a fit and finish a little bit nicer with the front matte grille as well. Right now the vehicle is in slider position three. So we do have headlight flashers activated as well, as you can see. The visor light is the wheel and visor light. We have uh, red with the white center takedown flashing. As we move around to the side of the vehicle, if you notice this vehicle was uh, custom painted. Uh, it has the their um, slime yellow color in the bottom. And then our graphics department did a fantastic job here at Market Graphics. We printed their uh, standard door patch that they have on their other pieces of, of uh, apparatus. We have the black striping in here. One thing that's nice is, is we don't do any seams on this, so this is all one piece in here. This isn't multiple overlays, which is really nice. And then we have a gold leaf trim that separates the black and the, the green color, giving it that, uh, that nice look. On the front fender there, we don't want to forget either. We have the wheel and Argus mount, which is a real nice touch, especially in a command structure vehicle like this is. Get unseen, looking for house numbers. Um, you know, you might have to look, uh, might pull fires, things of that nature. That um, Argus mounted uh, fender mount spotlight works really, really well. So we move on to the side of the vehicle. We have the wheel and two T ions, uh, each above the fenders, um, giving us uh, some side warning lights and also some intersection lights as well. The cap is an ARE cap, one of our most popular caps that we use here at Rapid Response, actually the most popular cap we use at Rapid Response. This one specifically is not the aluminum style look. This is actually the fiberglass model, which blends really nice in with the line of the truck. And this one does have a shelf configuration with some extra compartment storage in here as well. Move around to the back of the vehicle. You're gonna see some custom color mounted chevrons. This matches their other rigs. Uh, th these get real interesting to put chevrons on these because there are so many um, divots and, and angles and lines, you know, so uh, it gets really interesting to put chevrons on, on these tailgates, especially when you're using high prismatic stuff like this. This material is very thick. It's almost brittle. If you go to bend it, you can almost snap it. So you got to be real careful when this gets put in and the graphics team did a fantastic job in getting this in where everything lines up. Um, correctly and then um, added the word command 38 in here and it blends this tailgate really nice together even when you get into this uh, gold leafing here there's a lot of curvature that goes on in here and this can get real interesting to lay this in here and have this look right not only by eyesight but also you know body lines and measuring and, and things of that nature in the back here we also have a uh, dual color warning stick up in the upper window it's a six lamp unit we have some taillight flashers installed and along with some wheel and T ions down at the bottom. And as you can notice, those are uh, red and amber. Those are super effective um, when you're a couple vehicles back, especially. And they're really nice when you're up close like this because they don't blind you, but they still give you very good warning light out the bottom. We have a perf uh, material here in the back window. So we get the MGFD, but it also allows them to see out of this being a perf material. We do laminate our perf material, which gives it uh, a UV protection. A lot of times you see these on um, back windows of pickup trucks and stuff, and they look great for about a year or two, and then they fade really bad. 
that's because they're cheap, they're bought offline, um, they're not laminated. And this lamination material really, really helps um, keep that black and the, this, this color from, from fading. We open this up and then we get into the extendo bed slide out system. So all we got to do for this is pull this up and this slides out. So one thing with these short beds are is they are they're a, a shorter bed truck and when you use a lot of bed slides, a lot of bed slides don't pull out the whole way. So what you end up with is a bed slide that comes out to about there, about a 75% um, out. Well, that's great, but if you put a command box or you put other stuff on here, now you can't get in here, okay, to get anything out. So the bed slide almost becomes worthless. What this allows you to do is, is the extended bed version, which is why we sell these primarily, is they come out 100% past the opening, actually about uh, eight, 10 inches past the opening. So if you do have something sitting on here, you can then still get everything out of here as well. I'm going to slide it back in, real simple. Nice locking mechanism. We don't have pins or nothing that go out that we have to worry about failing. It's a hard lock mechanism. Flip that up. We'll head to the inside here. Nice uh, console by Havis. We're gonna have their customer and supplied radio installations, the Wheelan HHS control box, along with the Carson siren box as well. So the customer wanted two separate siren boxes in it, so we kept their old one for them like they wanted, plus we added the uh, Wheelan one. <laughs> So we can actually get dual tone function out of two separate units. So they're, do, they're using it that way as a fail safe system is why, they're, is why they're doing that. So just another great vehicle here at Rapid Response that we built, nice F-150, nicely laid out, nothing outrageously crazy, but very functional um, piece of vehicle for them. They're replacing a very, very old vehicle that's uh, falling apart. Um, surprise the wheels didn't fall off of it yet. So they're in much need of a, of a new command vehicle. And we're very uh, thankful here at Rapid Response and Market Graphics to build on it. If you're looking for anything else, let us know. Very hot out here today, very bright. So all the, uh, all the video that we do on days like today, um, the lighting is at its worst, obviously, you know, but uh, unfortunately we're not usually here at nighttime like a lot of you viewers ask. But uh, we'll do our best to get some nighttime video because we do have viewers like yourself that, that do ask for that and we are aware of that um, we just need to try to find time out of our busy, busy schedules to, to be able to do that so if you need anything we've been more than happy to uh, talk to you about uh, building your next vehicle whether it's a command vehicle a police car a full vehicle or even a mini pumper from our apparatus department thanks everybody and have a great day